Welcome to part 4, creating our 3D model of a spinner using Onshape. In part 1, we created the model of the bearing. In part 2, the spinner. And in part 3, we created the hub. In this video, we'll create an assembly and animate the assembly to show how the parts move. If you missed any of the previous steps, please consult the video playlist and review previous videos in this project. To create an assembly, I need to click on the Assembly tab at the bottom tray. If you don't have an Assembly tab in your document, you can go to the plus icon in the bottom left and click on Create Assembly from the list. To create the assembly, I'll click on the Assembly tab and you'll see the point in the center representing the origin in our assembly space. The Instances list on the left We'll list the parts and the mate features as we add them, and the toolbar with our assembly tools is along the top. Uh, we'll start with the Insert button, and from the Insert menu, I can see the parts available in the Part Studio. Because we modeled all three of these parts in the same Part Studio, you can see that there is a set of parts, and if I expand that set, I can see each individual part. If you clicked on the set, it would insert all three parts into our assembly at once. But we're not going to choose that because we want to insert a base part and fix it about the origin. So I'm going to choose the bearing. Just click and then click the green check mark. Notice that the bearing is sitting in the same relationship to the origin as it was in the Part Studio. So with this I will right click and say Fix. Notice the little Fix icon comes up here on the bearing and now if I left click and try to drag I can see that it's fixed in place. Now if for some reason, I'm going to unfix this, if for some reason your part came in in a different orientation to the origin, you can Click on the object and notice the triad manipulator comes up. Left click on the center point of the triad manipulator. Bring that to the center of your object. You can see these mate points light up. I'm going to take the very center one. Now left click on, on that center of my triad manipulator and click on move to origin. Once here, I can right click and Fix. With the bearing fixed in place, I'll now use the insert button again and choose the spinner from the parts list and use the green checkbox to accept. With the spinner in place, if you left click and drag, you can see that the spinner is not mated to the bearing and so we'll add a revolute mate. To fix the freedom of movement of this part, to just circular movement. Now notice on the, when I go to the hole here, I can see three mate points. If you hold the shift button down, it locks that open so that I can choose between them. I'm going to choose the center mate point. And when I select that, it adds it to my Revolute Mate dialog box. Now I can go to the bearing. I can see the same three uh, mate points on the center hole. I'll choose the center point on the bearing and it snaps the two pieces together. Now to check the freedom of movement on this Revolute Mate, I can use the little arrow to, and I can see that it's going to turn around the bearing, which is what I want. I'll use the green check mark to accept this. Next we're going to insert an instance of the hub, so I will click on it and then click on the green checkbox. I'm going to left click and drag the hub out of the way so that we can add a fasten mate first to the bearing. I want to choose the mate connection point that's at the top of the hole and then on the hub itself we want the mate connection point where the shaft meets uh, the shoulder and when I click on that, it snaps them together 
and we'll accept that. We need to insert another instance of the hub. I'm going to click and insert that into the space in my assembly area and choose the green checkbox. Now this hub, I'm going to click on it and I can see the triad manipulator. I want to rotate this 180 degrees, so I'm basically turning it over. So I can add that from the keyboard 180 degrees and now we'll again use a fasten mate and I'm going to fasten again where the shaft meets the shoulder. to the center of the bearing, to this mate connection point. And I'll accept that. Now that my assembly is complete, if I wanted to look inside and see how the parts all fit, um, we can go to our views and turn on section view, and then click on a flat surface and use the manipulator to turn our view to 90 degrees. From here I'm going to look at the right side view normal to the, to the plane and I can see that the hub and the bearing uh, have the fit that I desire so I'm going to turn off my section view right click and go to isometric. Now looking over here in the instance panel, you can see that we have a list of all of the parts that we've inserted during our assembly and we see a list of each of the mates, including the mate connectors that go inside each mate. Now if you want to animate this to see how it would actually operate, I would go to the mate that still has a degree of freedom, which is the Revolute mate, right click on the Revolute Mate and choose Animate. So we get an Animate box that has a Play and Stop button. It allows us to choose the playback type from Reciprocate going back and forth to a, a single revolution or to a loop. A loop would be continuous, so we'll push the Play button and we can see what the action would be for our spinner. Now stop button will stop it. If I wanted it to go faster, I can reduce the number of steps. For example, it starts out at 300. Let's reduce it to 100. And then we'll push play again and notice that it will spin a little bit faster. So with this, I can see that the, uh, the motion that I, that I want uh, for the spinner is complete.